One of the issues on the table this week with premiers, of course, is getting more Canadians access to a family doctor. Dr. Peter Bell is 80 years old and he's one of two doctors in Charbot Lake, Ontario, southwest of Ottawa. And he feels like he can't retire because there's simply no one to replace him. Dr. Bell, nice to see you. I appreciate you making the time. Good afternoon. Let, let me start with uh, why you um, have not or cannot yet retire as a family doctor. Well, I'm getting close to the time to retire. Um, and I always thought it would be easy to find somebody else to come here because it's a pretty neat place to live and neat place to practice. Uh, but there is a huge shortage now and it's very competitive anywhere in the country, anywhere in the province. Uh, to find new physicians. And so you feel um, compelled to stay on to help your community? Or, and is that what you're doing? Well, it would be difficult to step down uh, now. It's, I have an associate here. It's a two physician practice. Um, and so uh, you're much uh, more vulnerable if you lost half your manpower compared to a 10 physician practice where the others could pick up the slack. Sure. And, and, and how many patients do you have right now, would you say? Well, we have um, 3,000 uh, rostered patients and a large percentage, percentage of them are elderly and a lot of them have complex health issues. So it's a, a little more challenging population to look after than the average urban population. Sure. And but, they but... are spread out over a big area. Yeah, I was going to say all the more reason to have a doctor nearby. Um, so what what have you done or what has anyone done, I guess, to try and recruit someone to replace you? Well, we've been advertising and attended some meetings, uh, but um, it's usually difficult unless you have residents working with you, which we have over the years mm -hmm. uh, that are introduced to your practice and, uh, and um, you get to know them and they get to know you. And sure. we've often had people that have come back that way, but uh, we don't currently have any active residents, um, and um, advertising is a challenge because uh, there's not a big pool of people out there that are um, looking for places. Well, well, that's, I guess, the bigger picture that I, I want to ask you about, too. There's a, something like 5 million Canadians looking for a family doctor, so obviously there's not enough of you. What do you think would be um, the way forward to, to getting more people in the family practice and, and making sure people can get access to someone like you? Yeah, well, I think the number they were just announcing this morning is 2 million uh, people who don't have a family physician. And that's a huge problem. Yeah, in Ontario, um, yeah. In, yeah. in Ontario, yeah. And um, it's estimated that we need another 1,700 primary care providers. It could be a mix of physicians and nurse practitioners. Uh, but then in addition, you need to have the support services. Uh, so if you could find those people, uh, would the ministry be able to afford to pay mm -hmm. them uh, from the current budget? Um, that, let alone all the additional services that would be generated as they ordered investigations and and uh, made referrals, et cetera. So it's a it's a huge, huge dilemma. And yeah. if people don't have primary care providers, it's uh, difficult to access and, and coordinate their care in, within the complex health care system. Would you, at this, this meeting that's coming up between the premiers and the prime minister, would you hope that they discuss how to get more doctors into the country and how, how to get more people family doctor care? Well, um, uh, my take is that the number of doctors has been controlled as a measure of controlling health care costs uh, and that um, if they accepted more people in the medical school, there'd be lots more people willing to train as doctors Sure. Uh, and they may get a few um, international graduates to come in, um, but that's uh, somewhat challenging in terms of licensing requirements and mm -hmm. upgrading. Dr. Bell, if you could retire, what would you want to be able to go and do? I don't know if you have hobbies or things that you're looking forward to doing one day. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah, I'd like to be able to spend time on the lake or out in the woods or yeah. uh, lots of projects, building projects, yeah. uh, uh, no shortage of things to do. Um, which I have a challenge now to have enough time to do it because my yeah. days even on the weekend tend to be consumed with uh, trying to keep up with the paperwork. Well, I have to say, I, I admire your dedication to your community and, and your profession. It, it's very admirable, but I also hope you, you do get to retire soon. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Bell. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.